as the greens. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, I am really tired. How you guys doing today? You know how I'm doing. I'm doing tired. <laughs> today is Friday, I think uh, July the, what is this? July 12th and I'm so happy because I completed my five day workout week. Today, okay, yesterday when I worked out, okay, I had walked about 30 minutes and came back in and did another, I don't really, I didn't really time it too much, but another 20, maybe 40 minute um, full body workout on the floor and squats and all that stuff, you know, with my weights, weight training. And um, so that was good. And I had a lot of energy yesterday. I mean, I was just like real, I mean, I was doing a whole lot throughout the whole house. Just clean here, clean there, mop twice a day. I mean, I did a lot yesterday and I was, uh, we went to the store and I got some watermelon because you guys know that I'm doing a three day watermelon cleanse. Now, when you see this, the cleanse might be already over. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video I don't know. It will probably be over. But, um, oh, wow. My body, okay, I worked out today, which is Friday. I did a 35-minute walk. And, boy, I tell you, it was overcast. And there wasn't that much sun, which was nice, but it was still hot. And I went this morning about, um... 8.30. I wanted to get out a little bit earlier, but I just could not. You know, before I work, work out, I have to be awake. I have to be awake all the way because if I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm dragging and I'm just so sleepy. And I don't want to work out until my body can wake up fully, you know, so I can have an energy because I don't like to be trying to drag on out there. It's just not a good feeling. <laughs> You know, because it makes me want to just drag my body right back in that bed. So I did that, and then I came back in, and I got my 20-pound weights. Ooh. I told hubby I was going to try that. So I did about, I didn't do 100 squats with 20 pounds. You know, 20 in one hand, 20 in the other. No, that was a bit much. But I did do at least 30, 35 squats you know holding the total of 40 pound you know one in one hand that's hard to do and i'm telling you you burn a lot and i mean that sweat was just dripping off of me when i came in from that walk my cap my um nike hat that i had on it was drenched <laughs> my shirt not this shirt it was another shirt that i had on my exercise clothes and my little biker shorts that i wear drenched Whew. I feel good you know that I accomplished and got you know did my exercise and everything and accomplished what I wanted to accomplish but you know I'm telling you afterwards your body just wants to just kind of like plop I'm sitting here on the couch now and my body feels like laying down you know on top of the bed or something but I was drenched and then, let me see, what else happened? Yeah, I did my floor exercises after the squats. And, um, you know, I do my crunches. I do my leg lifts. I do my back, my lower lumbar stretch because I have a situation going on with my back back there. So I try to do those, you know, and because um, I learned those exercises from the um, physical therapy. So I do it here as well. And what else did I do? Um, some other stretches and things like that. And um, I work my hips. I sit down, my legs are straight out, and I'm going like this with my hips back and forth. And it works it, it, it leans it, 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 it gets them smaller and everything like that. So, you know, I did that and. Um, then after that, I just laid there like this. <sighs> I was so tired. 
And now I have to go upstairs and edit a video. And I'm like, do you really want to do that? But you know what? I need a laptop. Now, I don't know if I know how to edit a video on the laptop because I'm so used to using a desktop. Now, some people edit their videos on their phones which I'm filming on now, I do not know how to do that. It is possible, but I learned on the desktop. I don't know anything about the, the laptop. And it might be the same, but you don't have an actual mouse that you hold. You probably have to use your finger. I could probably try it, but I have to get one. I don't have a laptop, and I, I wouldn't mind having one for days like today where I want to just sit here and edit the video and not have to climb up the stairs because I'm also dealing with feet pain and ankle pain due to possible, possible plantar fasciitis. You know, I've dealt with that before, and sometimes, you know, it comes back. So I'm trying to work on getting this together. I have to see the doctor soon and let them know about this pain. And I'm just hoping they don't have to put a needle in my heel. Oh gosh. I mean, I've had that needle in my heel before. It's leading up to them actually putting it in, they spray this real cold numbing thing. And oh Lord have mercy. And then they take that needle and put it in. I did holler a little bit. I, I, I don't want to go through that torment. But I do want some relief, though. But I'm like, oh, gosh. Give me some other relief other than medication. I want something natural that I can do because I don't, I don't want that needle. I mean, it's kind of scary. Just the thought of it. Oh, Lord have mercy. It is. It really is, guys. Oh, gosh. I mean, I'm feeling anxiety just thinking about it. So I'm going to try not to think about it anymore. But if need be, then I just have to do what I got to do and just grind, how they say, grind down with the teeth and just, ooh. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys saw my shorts. Um, I'm new to shorts, meaning I haven't done too many of them. I did one of them with my son, and then I did one um, showing some um, watermelon. I'm doing a watermelon cleanse for... I'm just going to say two to three days. If I have any more left over on the fourth day, I will go ahead and do it a, a fourth day. But at least I think I can squeeze out um, three days at least because I bought two watermelons for myself only for me to eat. And I'm telling you, it's kind of hard to do that because I had two bowls. Let me show you. I had two bowls full, not back to back, but... Maybe within, well, kind of back to back, maybe within 10 to 15 minutes. That's probably too soon. I don't know. This size. Just a regular bowl. Medium, small, small bowl. Not tiny. And I had a cup of coffee. Now, I'm kind of full. So, I'm like, oh, gosh. I got to try to drink water on top of that now you know watermelon it does have about 92 to 94 percent water so but i still feel like with just having those two bowls i need to probably drink some water in between i can feel my stomach going down a little bit so i'm not as full so i probably maybe in the next i don't know maybe in the next 15 minutes to a half an hour i might go ahead and get another bowl or I just may go ahead and drink some water. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I got to cover up my, my cheese. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's the next day, and I'm getting ready to make me a salad for dinner. And um, I got to put on something because I'm not comfortable showing off my cheese. I tell you. My husband says, stop it, stop it. I'm like, I can't help it. I don't like showing my arms. They're just too big, okay? But anywho, um, guess what? I went to my primary care and had my, um, my follow-up. And guess what? I lost 15 pounds. Woohoo! <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, but I lost 15 pounds. And I'm just so happy. I see a little bit, but of course other people see more 
you know, more of it than I do. But it's what the scale says. And when she did not have to take that bar and go over to the next side, I was like, I was holding my breath. Guys, when I got there, it was funny. She said, you want to step on the scale? And I'm like, well, I guess so. Took off my shoes. I took off my sweater. I think I took off this watch. Yep, because I had this dress on. And what else did I take off? My shoes, my sweater, this watch. Now, I didn't take off the hat because my hair is a little jacked up. And I worked out this morning. So, um, I, mm -mm, I didn't want to do that. And she, I got on there and she... She didn't take the thing and go over to the side. I was like, whew. I was crossing my fingers. And she told me what my weight is. Now, I'm not comfortable sharing what it is. No, no, no. I can't do that. Not now. One day I will. But that's not the most important thing is I lost weight. And I'm so happy. I feel so good today. My blood work was hooray. Mm. The levels were where they were supposed to be and my camera is starting to tilt and the um the glucose level that was a little bit elevated is a way down from where it was i was like yes she said keep doing what you're doing because you are making a difference i am reversing what was trying to come on me okay and We'll just say I'm I am I have already reversed pre-diabetes. Okay. That's what was trying to come on. And it's basically because of what you eat. It's what you eat over a period of time. So I reversed it and everything is normal. And I'm like, because when she first told me a few months back, um I gave her this serious look like Ooh. And I said, oh, no, no, I, I refuse to accept that in Jesus' name. I said, no, Liz, to myself, I'm thinking this in my mind. I said, no, you, you're going to do something about this. And I did. I've been exercising five days a week. I tell you, cardio, and I do some weight strengthening with my weights. Sometimes I use my two 10-pound weights. Sometimes sometimes the 20 pounds those 20 pounds are heavy so i can't curl like this with a 20 pound no way but i can my 10 pounds but with the 20 pound weight i will i can curl it if i'm holding both hands up like this up and down you know and certain arm exercises where you go out to the side and take your arms and you know, lean forward and do this kind of stuff. Those I can do with 20 pounds because it's not too much. And also, sometimes I would do some squats with 20 pounds. And that's 40 pounds on top of what I weigh. <sighs> it's hard to do. I don't do a lot of them because it's, it's too much. I don't want to overdo it. But, um, yeah, and also I do 100 squats every day. When I say every day, I mean five days a week. I'm not going to go over the limit. And, you know, some people will say, well, do it for seven days. No, my body has to. It's got to rest and recuperate. And, you know, especially me dealing with joint issues and things like that. So um, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I'm like, you know, all that I'm doing and eating good, eating clean and leaving the process stuff out as you guys know i always say this but if you're new here i don't eat meat anymore i stopped eating meat in 2019 um something had happened to me and i ended up in the er my mother was with me and it was you know basic because of how i eat and it scared me i don't even remember what the hospital said to me but i just remember that fear feeling i was like oh no you know, oh no, you know, and I remember the doctor saying, well, you know, you don't have to stop eating meat per se, but, you know, doctors only know what they know. I choose to go the natural pathway. And, um, you know, I was listening to some people. I listened to Dr. Bobby, uh, Dr. Bobby Price. He's here on YouTube as well. So look him up. And I also listened to 
a man named Dr. James Dell. Now, those two men, I mean, I've watched other people too. I get different tips, you know, I will Google or just search different things that I want to know of, you know, so I, it's not just those two men, but I'm just giving those men um, a shout out because they're the main ones. He says, eating meat, you're killing yourself. And I won't go into all that because it's going to take a long time for me to, you know, discuss all that and to some people that's controversial, but he's done the research. You know, he's been doing this for years. He ought to know what he's talking about. You know, so I have stopped meat a long, long time ago. And yeah, it smells good when I'm around it, but it's not enough. It doesn't smell good where I'm going to eat it. No way. I will never eat it, eat it, eat it again. Never, never, never. So, um... Anyway, I had a good report from the doctor's office. I was thanking the Lord in the car as I'm coming home. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for helping me, you know, to do what I need to do. And it, it's, it's hard. It's hard because, you know, your body sometimes you just wish that. And I do. I wish that you can eat the food that you really love and nothing happens over a period of time. I really do. And I hate to say that, but I do. Because, you know, you'd be wanting to, but I am not going to. No, no. So I go back in three months, which is October. And I mean, I'm going to try to push harder, harder, harder. It's like, dang, when you get older, like I am, oh boy. It's not easy losing weight, especially for me. I can't speak for everybody. Your metabolism slows down. You know, I'm not a, I'm not active like I was 20, 30 years ago. <clears throat> no, I'm I'm not. I think if I wasn't dealing with rheumatoid arthritis, I think I probably would be. I would probably be um, running because I love running. But got issues with my hips. My knee, my ankle, I'm not going to, I feel like I might fall. It would not be wise for me to be doing that. Okay, my salad looks delicious, doesn't it? If you have not seen my salad before, this is kale lettuce right here. These, This lettuce right here is so good I could eat by itself. I kid you not, it tastes so good. Also, I have red um, bell pepper, a little bit of tomato, and cucumber and avocado. Now, these are the seasonings that I, spices I should say, that I use sometimes. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cayenne pepper on there, uh, if I get this open, a little bit. <laughs> Somebody will say, that's a lot. Well, it's a little bit. <laughs> it's my little bit. Some onion powder. You know, I should have taken the tops off, but I thought too late, so... Sprinkle, I like a lot of onion powder in here. I don't have any regular onions and I don't always use regular onions because I try to make sure the breath doesn't blow hubby out. <laughs> and then some garlic powder. What's a salad without garlic powder? I don't use salt, so it's just powder, powder, powder. And then a little bit of black pepper. Oh, brother, yeah, I, you know I should have done this earlier. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, black pepper, oregano. I just be using as many spices as I can just to flavor up my salad. You know, without having salt, of course. Trying not to shake the camera. 
And then the last thing I'm going to use is Mrs. Dash. This is a Southwest Chipotle seasoning blend. It is so good. As you can see, it's salt free, just like the other ones I showed you. Everything is salt free. So you can use as much of this as you want. I'm trying not to shake this camera. Okay. And voila, that's how it looks. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. Now let's see what the um, my zucchini squash looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of turmeric. This is really good. Very, very, very good. A lot of healthful benefits to it. That. Now let me get some of the other seasonings. We're gonna use the onion, the garlic. There's onion and the garlic. And some oregano, a little bit. That one, same as before. And I already added turmeric. Last but not least, a little bit of black pepper. Good morning guys. This is the next day. I think it is. Maybe it's two days later. But I'm about to have some breakfast. I just finished my what 45, 50 minute workout. It was good. I walked outside for about 35 minutes. Came back inside and did my squats. 110 squats and uh, just some other little exercises for my arms and my waist. You know try to tone up things so it's time for a little bit breakfast i was going to do a little bit of a fast like a half day fast but i said nah that's okay because what i'm going to eat is very low fat anyway i'm going to have some what is this so delicious dairy free coconut milk yogurt 
and I'm going to put in it some of this um, granola, just a little bit of granola and a little bit of walnuts. So I'm just going to get a bowl and so how's your day going? I hope it's going good. Mine is going good. <sighs> I'm going to drink my water and I have some apple cider vinegar in this and it is not the best, but I try to drink it once or twice a day. Woo! <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put this in here. I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all together. I forgot to go get a spoon, so I'm going to have to go get one. Yeah, I don't have anything planned today. Uh, we were busy yesterday running some errands and I should have um, gone with my hubby so I could have gone into Dollar Tree and showed you guys, you know, the new things that they have for fall. But you know, I might do that on another day. I don't know, because the, that particular Dollar Tree, they didn't have anything really exciting. You know, I've seen some other YouTube videos, and they were showing all the good stuff. And I'm like, where in the world is ours? Especially here in California, where I live in a high desert. <sighs> I don't know, I feel glamorous when I get my nails done, but they are so expensive. You know, every place I go to, even the people who do it at home. And I was going to get it done this one week, and it just wasn't in the budget. So I said, well, I guess right now it's not meant for me to get my nails done. So. about it but I'm gonna put some uh, what do you call those uh, fake nails some press on nails I'm gonna put some of those on I know they don't last as long and especially when I'm in the shower at times they will start to loosen up I hate that <laughs> and it'll be coming off I hate that I get so upset <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do right I'm getting ready to eat this now, but I just want to say one quick thing. Now, I don't talk politics on my channel, not even close to it, but I will say one thing. And you guys leave me a comment down below if you want to. Just let me know what you think. Um, I think that uh, President Biden made the best decision to drop out of the race. I do. I agree with his decision under the circumstances. So good job for him. I know he's probably bummed out about it, but he did the best decision. So tell me in the comments, leave me some type of feedback, what you guys think if you want to. So let me show you what this looks like now. It doesn't that look good? Hope oh, that's in the best lighting. That looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy. Mmm, do you want some? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the first bite and then I'm going to go sit down and eat. Mmm. Mmm. My teeth are sensitive. Anything. This is good. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> I wish I can give you some for real. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's so refreshing. Mm. Now, this nasty stuff I drink later because it's got apple cider vinegar in it and it's nasty. I'm gonna have me a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> you guys can't see me. Hi, guys. Okay, I got a package 
that I ordered from TikTok. So I'm going to open it up and let you guys see what it is. Sorry you can't see me that good. This is the best I can do for right now. I don't have my phone on the, uh, the little mount thing. I'll do this really quick. Okay, these are uh, like credit card, driver's license little covers that you can put your things in. Let me show you right quick if I can get it open. Let me just cut it open, shoot. such a hot day it's hard to open this up everything is hot okay i guess it comes in a whole pack like this i thought they were individual but you can cut them if you want but then if you cut them they might be kind of open up on the side so i don't know how i'm going to do it but yeah you put your credit cards in here or your driver's license oh it opens up so it's more this is how it is so if you want to cut them and then maybe put some tape or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I don't want them like this. I'm probably going to cut them individually. But that's the first item. Now, ha -ha, this came, and I like this. This goes on, on the, uh, wait a minute. This is so we can be in the car and still put our phones in here, you know? So this attaches to this and it goes in the, um, the uh, vent. I'm supposed to kind of like slide this into the uh, air conditioned vent. And then this is supposed to hook on here like so. Let me see if I can do it. Ah. Yeah, like that. And then the phone goes in here. So we'll see how that goes. I may take this outside and see. Then the last item is for me. I already know what these things are, of course. I'm sorry you guys can't see me. This is a real quick uh, in and out on the phone here. I'll film this real quick because I got something else to do. This is, it's a mug, um, coffee cup, not cup, but mug, cup, whatever you want to call it. You know, it keeps your beverages hot or your beverages cold. So, and I got it in the white. I got these things off of TikTok. So nothing is sponsored, so I just want to tell you that up front. Make sure to package it really good. Okay, and this is how it looks. Nice and white. Hubby got the black one, and I didn't want the black, and I wanted um, another color that they ran out, but this is how the top looks. Just open it up like that, drink from here, which is really, really cute. It snaps, open it up like this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now this is not sponsored, like I told you, and it has the rubber uh, handle here. So when it's hot, you know, you, you have a better grip. So, yay. Okay, that was it. I hope you guys like it. Let me show you how it looks outside in the car. This thing, let's see how it works. Guys, I forgot, hubby's gone. <laughs> the car's not even in the garage. How silly me. <laughs> it's a hot day, okay? I'm tired. Yeah, I forgot the car is not here. Anyway, I'll show you soon what it looks like. You know, the cup thing I got. 
not the cup thing, the holder for the cell phone. <sighs> okay, hubby has returned, so let me try this. And I hope I don't have to call him out here. Oh boy, I just hope it works. <laughs> Let's see, I gotta wipe this car if I know that much. It's, oh Lord, there it is, I don't pay that no mind. Now I forgot how they said this is supposed to go in there. Oh Lord, <sighs> I may have to have Sam come out here and help me because Oh, brother. It's supposed to be easy. Okay, it hooks on like that. That I know for sure. As I saw it in the video. But this part is where I'm not quite certain of. It's supposed to connect to the vent. Oh, Lord. Please let this work. Because I told hubby, if this doesn't work, I don't want to be disappointed. Guys, I need both hands, so... I'm going to see if I can insert this some kind of way so this can hang. Okay, I have it in here, the little groove, but because these little vents here are situated long way instead of sideways width, that's, I think that's one, um, that's what the directions were saying. It wasn't saying, but it was showing in the video when I got ready to buy it that the vents... It didn't say it had to, but it was showing that the vents, I think, were going across like, like this little bar is. But in this car, the vents are up and down, and that might be a problem. See? It's attached to it, but it's not very secure, guys. I don't know. <sighs> Why can't things work when I get it? I just don't know. Oh, boy. So, let's pretend this is the phone which is a phone case. Now, I have it in there, and you see. Now, the car is in park, of course, so we'll see if it's going to stay and hold on. I just hope it does. <sighs> we'll give it a try and see. Hello, everybody. It's the next morning, and I'm just so cold. I'm sitting here with my blanket on so I can have my coffee. I decided to go ahead and exercise earlier, get my clothes on earlier than I normally do, and drink that nice cup of coffee. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. So refreshing. I just love my coffee in the morning or in the afternoon. You know, I have it pretty much in the morning, but sometimes it's early afternoon. So I just want to just check in with you guys and see how you're doing today. And I'm drinking that big old water jug. You see that? That is a 64 ounce jug that I got from Target about a month and a half ago. And ooh, <laughs> it's a lot of water. But you know, I try to drink a lot. I try to drink, 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 you know, as much as I can. I mean, I don't want to flood myself with this water, but you got to drink a lot. You know, they say to flush your kidneys out. It's good for weight loss. It's good for your cells. It's good for everything. So I'm just going to keep my eyes closed here for a bit and just enjoy the quiet time that I have. So I don't know what's going to happen today, what we're going to do, or I just may just be sitting here on this couch with this coffee and enjoying the rest of the day. <laughs> until it's time to cook dinner so hey guys how are you guys doing today i'm on my way to walmart just to do about a week's worth of shopping and um i was going to show you guys some of the um fall haul not haul i was going to show you guys some of the uh, fall decor that they have there i may do it and i may not but i just want to let you guys know that I'm the kind of person I don't like to decorate for fall before it's actually the fall season. Now I know that we here on YouTube as decorators, we, you know, decorate for the following season at least a month or so early, but I don't like doing that. I just cannot stand to do that. I don't like to go out there and, you know, in the garage and pull all my fall decor out but you know i'm gonna have to do it because i'm in involved in some collaborations that require fall decor 
So it's not like I have to, but I do have to. Because I don't want to be an oddball, but I'm telling you, I would not be decorating my home for fall. I would just decorate it just for the um, the collapse. But I, after that, I'm putting all that stuff back. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just don't like to do that. But um, do you guys like to do that? If you're a decorator, do you like to decorate your whole house, you know, for that uh, next season in advance? Or do you not? I don't like it. Anywho, me and hubby stopped at the bank real quick. So he'll be probably coming out any second. And I tell you, we had a lot of construction on the street that we're on. And oh. Oh my gosh that sun is beaming down on me like I don't know what and here he comes let me open the door for him but that sun was beaming down on me and guess what the other day we felt an earthquake well Sam didn't feel it but I felt it I was in the living room on the couch and all of a sudden I felt this big gush of boom I don't, no, not a boom, but it was almost like someone thrashed themselves onto the couch. And it started to shake. The room was shaking. Then I looked at my cocktail table, my coffee table, and the flowers were just going. I said, OMG. <laughs> I almost screamed because I can't stand earthquakes. I just don't like them. Then I had to say to myself, okay, Liz. My watch says it's time to drink some water. Um, I said to myself, Liz, you're okay. You're going to be okay. Just relax. And, oh boy, I, <laughs> I just can't stand earthquakes. But, anywho, yeah, we're about to get on the road, get to the Walmart right now. And I, I cannot look into the camera when Hup, mm, oh, I smell something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what that smell is. Gosh. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Excuse me, you guys. Mm. Woo. Mm. Uh, uh. I got to roll my window down for just a second. Woo. Mm. Lord have mercy. I got, mm, can't even see what I just said. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. Hello. Okay, guys. <laughs> Hubby was getting a call, so I had to get off the phone right quick. So I couldn't, I couldn't continue talking to you guys. But are you guys like this? I don't know where I left off. I was talking about the earthquake. Oh yeah, was I talking about the earthquake, babe? Yeah. What did I say? I said I don't like the earthquakes. They're kind of scary. Yeah. The hubby didn't feel it. Aaron didn't feel it, but I did. I don't know. It was something more specific I was going to say, but ooh, sorry for the shaking. Oh, boy, it's not easy to be in the car and shake. But yeah, but it was something else I was going to say. Oh, I hate that. And the smell came. I don't <laughs> Oh boy, I guys, I totally forgot what I had to say to you. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what it was. So I hate that because I really was saying something to you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys whenever, okay? Because I don't know what I will. Wait a minute, it's coming back to me. I think it was about something that. I don't like. I already talked about the not wanting to decorate the fall this early. Well, if I think of it, I'll come back. Okay, Jazzy Greens, we're back in the car. Just made it on in the car with all the groceries hubby's packing away, as you can see. Now, I'm not going to show you guys a grocery haul in this video. You'll see it in another video so um, yeah there's not much going on we may go back out later on but I don't think I'm going to film 
wow, that's amazing when you see men with long hair all the way down. I'm like, wow, good grief. But yeah, that's all I have to show you guys today. So we'll see what's next, okay? But you guys have a continue having a good day if you or good morning whenever or good night whenever you guys are watching this video but just in case I don't come back you know what I may not come back so I'm going to end the vlog right here you guys thank you so much for watching and if you're new here welcome I'm glad to have you for all my new uh, subscribers all my Jazzy Green family and if the, you have not yet joined the family, just go ahead. Please click on the subscribe button and join the Jazzy Green family. Give this video a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. And double tap the bell, set it to all, the word all. Leave me a comment down below if you like to. I'd like to say hello to you and welcome you to the Jazzy Green family. You guys take care, you be blessed, and thank you all so much for watching. I love you. Don't See you no later. Did you hear what hubby said? He said, don't take no wooden knuckles. Because this is his first time saying hello to you guys. <laughs> <So> <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.